create a tranquil and relaxing experience from the drive through the mountains until your arrival from the Abri Craft Village to the Abri Botanical Gardens and then the Pedro Sea Presidential Lodge well look no further because this place is solely designed for you and it's no other place than the Pedro Sea Valley Resort We basically have got two smaller type boardrooms on the side here. Wow. Okay. So this is where our executives have the time have to meetings. sit down and relax and, and then we try to make them relax at the same time as making serious decisions. This is uh, our cedar lounge and it uh, hosts uh, up to 60 to 70 people. 60 to 70 people? Yeah. Wow. To make you understand that when you come to our hotel, we're are inviting you to experience nature. Nature. And, and relaxation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. Relaxing yeah. in nature. That's yes. very beautiful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Okay, Christy, before we leave the boardrooms, I want to show you something. Please take a seat inside here. All right. Ooh. What I'd like you to do is have a seat in the front there. That's like the boss. You are the boss, yes. <laughs> Alright, so this is what we want you to feel and when our guests come to the hotel that they're comfortable and look at Christy, she's comfortable already. Okay. Okay, so we've seen the business part of things. Okay. Right, now we have to unwind, relax and get ready for the evening. Okay. So let me show you one of our rooms. Up into here. Wow. All the rooms are over 40 meters square. And Can I? Yes. Jump in. <gasps> there you are. <laughs> This is nice, this is really nice. And the nice thing about this room is the same thing about relaxation. We've got a tub and a shower in the rooms, but also the view. The view. And you get a view of the pool and any entertainment that's happening, we ask you to join in. We're inviting you to join into the entertainment. And in everything hotel. has to do with nature. Yes. All I can say right now is if you're thinking of having a honeymoon or you want to get out with your lover or just go out and be somewhere and relax, come on, you can see everything here. Everything is in Ghana. You don't even need to go out of Ghana anymore. Pedro C. Valley Resort has everything sorted out. At this point, I really don't want to go back to Accra. <laughs> All our rooms are replicated with the same theme in that we want to be a, pl a place where you relax, and you can enjoy all the standard amenities of a, of a five-star hotel. That's what our aspirations to move towards that. But at the same time, we can do some serious work, but you know you don't have to go anywhere else. You can unwind yes. and enjoy the quality of good food, relaxation, and meet with nature. Right, so here we are in our restaurant, okay? Are you feeling hungry? This is quite a big, I'm feeling hungry. Okay, let's have a seat, let's see what the chef, <laughs> has, let's see what the chef has done for us today. Okay, all right. But you can see the atmosphere, soft lighting, uh, nice colours, relaxing colours. Nice art. Thank you. And the, and the music in the background to make sure that you know we start to relax. After mm -hmm. a hard day's work, this is where you come to unwind and enjoy the finer qualities of cuisine. Let me introduce you to our chef here, Hello. Chef Amjad. Hello, Chef Amjad. Okay. I'm fine. Welcome to meet you. Thank you. Chef is going to be with you later on. Yes. And he's going to show you all his wizardry. <laughs> and, and, and water your mouth with all I the taste. I know, with all I the really taste. can't wait. On this trip, we have cut light soup, we have red red, and we have gourmet dessert, and we have intercontinental food also. It will be a little bit healthy. Okay. Without any oil, without any cholesterol, and okay. these things. 
My name is Chris Carter, and you already know this is Meet the Chef, and we're looking for top chefs in Ghana and beyond. So, let's go. Guys, if you're just joining us, this is Meet the Chef, and you know we are at Pedwasi Valley Resort. So we met Chef Amjad earlier, and it's time for him to prepare something delicious for us. But a little birdie told me it's not just something, there are a lot of things, a lot of delicious things that we're going to be seeing today. And wait, guys, let me remind you, he is the only master chef in Ghana, and he's right here at Pedwasi Resort Valley. You're welcome again. You are welcome in our Bidwasi Valley Resort. It's okay. a pleasure to meet you today, actually. Today, we are create a small kitchen here in the open air uh, to show you the movement of the kitchen. I have my two sous chef and the best chef to create some plate, a creative a little bit. Okay. We have cut light soup, we have red red, and we have gourmet dessert, and we have intercontinental food also. It will be a little bit healthy. Okay. Without any oil, without any cholesterol and okay. these things. All right. As a chef uh, from Jordan, coming to Ghana, what difference do you see when it comes to cooking? You know, actually the, the difference is about the ingredients and um, as I'm a chef, I must update myself yeah, yeah. to the habits here. But each country you want to have definitely something you can learn. Mm -hmm. So here the Ghanaian cuisine is interesting, it's healthy, but we need to present it by fine dining way yes. to attract the people to try our own yes, yes. Ghanaian food. So it's time to cook and what are we going to start with? We will start with the cut light soup with the Chef Joy yes. and she is going to in action right now. Okay. So let All us right. to start. Chef, so Chef Joy, we are going to do cut light soup. What are we? What, what are the ingredients for people that don't know what it's all about? Um, right now we are cooking uh, goat light soup. We are having cut goats with cut in coops. Mm -hmm. Then we have garlic ginger and then uh, we're having blended tomatoes okay as a puree that oh, yeah. we blend this fresh one and here we're having uh, garlic and uh, uh, fresh blended uh, pepper all right okay so and let's start yeah so the first of all you put your pan on fire then you you can have the the goat the pieces goats okay on the pots so okay then after adding the goats like the soup with the water. So how did you get the water? We are right now we are boiling only the goats Goat. with the water. Okay. And then we season with uh, garlic. Okay. Little garlic and little ginger and the uh, onions to boil the meat. Okay. And salt. A bit of salt. Yeah. So then we cover can leave for a while for your goat to be tender okay to be tender yeah. so we leave for like five minutes so after five minutes maybe like because it's already boiled before yeah so okay yeah. it's already boiled but if you're yeah. boiling it raw that means raw. it will be like take it can take like an hour an hour because yeah. it's goat because it's goat it's very okay. hard all right but this yeah. is already boiled yes and because it's already boiled we're just trying to um boil it a bit yeah okay so that's to like five minutes five minutes yeah. to be tender. all okay. right all right so so the second dish it's a famous dish in ghana here we are going to make red red it's, so the soup is ready the soup is done already okay so we are going now to start with the red red 
So with the red red, uh, everybody knows red red has to do with beans. Yes. It has to do with beans. So I can see that the beans is already prepared. Yeah. Do, do you use any kind of beans? No, we, 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 here in Ghana we use white beans. White beans. Yes. So we prepare the white beans and then just keep just it like that. Boil. We just boil with only sauce. Only salt? Yes. Nothing else? No nothing. oil? Nothing? Nothing. All right. Just white beans. Okay. So let's just go straight into it then. So right now, we are going to make the sauce for the red red. Okay. So first of all, we put your palm oil. Palm oil? Yeah. Onions, mm -hmm. on oil, five gram of chopped garlic. Chopped garlic, okay. Yeah. Another five gram of ginger. So for those of us who don't know what gram, how to measure in grams, how do we now measure it? Yeah. It's Right now, I'm using like teaspoon. So we can take it, use a teaspoon. Yeah. One teaspoon, one of teaspoon, teaspoon. Yeah. All right. Yeah, normally the teaspoon measures about a gram. Yeah, gram. gram. A teaspoon. Okay. So we can so measure in the home because we don't have that skill to measure one. Measure gram. all that. We can use the teaspoon. the teaspoon. Okay. Right now, I'm going to write the blended tomatoes. Blended tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. Maybe like three tablespoons. Three tablespoons. Yeah. Because we are cooking a portion. portion. But if you're cooking for a lot of people, I'm sure they already know how to measure it, right? Yeah, we have a measurement already. But Chef, what is your favorite Ghanaian food? I like to eat jollof rice. Jollof rice. Because it's made very well. Okay. So in, even myself in the kitchen, they know that I like the jollof, jollof rice. rice. Yes. But in Jordan, what's your, um, your, your key food or major food? Like in Ghana, people know like Ghanaians for fufu, jollof rice and all that and kenke and banku in, in jordan what is it uh, in jordan we have many dishes it's famous but the most famous dish what we like it and we eat it all the time is the hummus hummus it's the chick bees mixed chick with bees, the sesame yeah. base and some lemon so even the Ghanaian here they like it yeah. sometimes they are i love for hummus it. actually because it's actually very healthy yes it's healthy mm -hmm. little chili pepper chili pepper, chili pepper. Here in Ghana, they call it Bako Shuto. That's the green one. Yeah, the green one. Yeah. So, I'm going so, to add the seasoning so that I can give a very good flavor and taste to be, and for the beans to be tasty. I'm going to add the beans. Beans. Fire too much. So now you mix everything together. Everything together. How long is it going to cook for? Because the beans is already cooked, mm -hmm. so it's not going to take much long. time. Yeah, mm -hmm. to, so maybe like 15 minutes. Okay. Because we are going to add some garnishing. That's so going to prepare our, our red red here okay. to be tasty and well presentable. Okay, so we are doing it the Pedrasi Valley, Valley Resort stand, way. Standard, yeah. Okay. Okay, so chef, let's talk about you. You are um, the only master chef in Ghana. Mm. How did you um, attain that? You know, this uh, last uh, certificate, what you mentioned right now, I achieved it uh, from UK actually, from mm -hmm. the World Chef Association. World Chef Association. Yes, uh, this you must, first of all, you present your experience, you look for your experience, how many years you are in the career. Mm -hmm. They make a little bit reference about you. Mm -hmm. So after all this process, they decide to give you the certificate okay. or not. All right. So like, c can you tell us some of your experience? How long have you been cooking for? At what age did you start? I started uh, too young in this career. Okay. Uh, this year I will complete 16 years. 16 years of yes, cooking? Yes. Uh, I went around uh, Egypt, uh, Jordan, Dubai, Turkey, Brazil. Egypt, Turkey, Nigeria. Dubai, yes. Nigeria. Nigeria, yes, I was okay. in Lagos. Uh, then I joined here, Ghana. Okay. So, you know, this is when you collect it all together, so you will understand the cuisine, how it is, yes. have value. Mm -hmm. So, you can come with your idea, you can learn from the Ghanaian cuisine, and you can communicate all together. Yeah, in one and dish. put it together. Okay, that's nice. Was cooking something you really wanted to do when growing up? Did you tell yourself, I want to be a chef? I want, if I, when I grow up, I want to be a chef. You know, yes, I was interesting in the in the kitchen and these things, and from there I start. But in each position I reach, I say no, it's not enough. I need to be more mm -hmm. and more and more, even now, because this cuisine every day you see one thing. Yes, every day you see something else. Every yes. country has a different style and different standard of cooking. Exactly. Okay, that's nice. That's so now the beans is ready. Right now I'm going to garnish it. That's I'm talking about um, Pedrasi standard. Yes. So we have our way of cooking. So we are, we are going to add a little onions, green to garnish pepper. it, green pepper, and, and some, uh, 
chopped some, tomatoes. Some chopped tomatoes for a garnish. So we are going to garnish it. When you are serving it, so it will look very presentable. It's already looking very, very colorful. Yeah, it's very colorful. Yeah, it's looking color. I can yeah. see green, red, and red and uh, you know, orange, yeah. everything going on in there. Yeah. Like a blast of colors. It's beautiful. So now the red rice is ready. Then we are going to dish it with our fried plantain. Fried plantain? Yes. Okay. That's why it's called red red. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we've seen the red red and we've seen the goat light soup. So tell us what we're going to make. Yeah, now we will start with the intercontinental dish. It will be a healthy plate. We have uh, boiled chicken with papaya sauce and microgreen herbs. Boiled chicken with papaya sauce and microgreen yeah. herbs. First of all, what's mean boiled chicken? Uh, I just want to mention one thing for the chefs and for the in the home and everyone. There is nothing called boiling, it's called simmering. Simmering. Because there is no water boiling in this world than 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. So when, like you in home, you're preparing a dish of pasta, they say to you, add salt in the water. Yes. It's not to give the test for the pasta dough. The okay. pasta dough already have a test. But we add the salt to increase the temperature to Celsius. Oh, okay. Because the pressure of the air is different. So you never will get 100 degrees. Okay, okay. Okay, so we will come for our our own dish. This is the boiled chicken, the chicken, chicken breast. It's chicken breast? Yeah, it's marinated. Marinated we, chicken breast? Yes, it's salt, black pepper, fresh oregano. We wrap it in the clinic film to take this shape. Okay. Fine. Black pepper. Fresh oregano. Fresh oregano. Salt. Salt. And some garlic. And some garlic. And some oil a little bit, and just to oil. make it a little bit shiny. Yeah. Okay? okay, so when you rub it all over, you just take the cling film and then put it together. Yes, to take this shape, because we need to change the shape of the chicken breast okay. to be more presented, okay? Okay. So this chicken breast is marinated. You cannot go with the chicken breast to marinate it for too long time, because mm -hmm. we need to test the chicken breast after the marinated. Okay, yeah. So it's like, 15 minutes in 15 advance. Minutes. In advance. That's okay. it. Okay. So now we come to take this chicken breast and we put it in the water. If you notice, the water is not boiling. It's not boiling. Nothing called boiling. Okay. okay? So I'm going to drop my chicken breast in the water. With a cling film on it. With a cling film on it. Okay. I will just add a small salt here in the water. Okay. Okay. And the salt is to increase the temperature, like you said. Yes, of course. Some onion. Because when you do the poaching, this is cooking method. Okay, when you do the poaching, you must give a flavor for your liquid. Okay. Whatever the liquid can mind be a cranberry juice. Okay. But okay. here, so when, you're, the water. so when you're poaching, you have to put um, some salt and onions and everything yes. to give it some flavor too. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. And we can add some garlic. And this is, it will be enough. Okay. All okay. right. Now we come back for our sauce, the babaya sauce. We will start with the vegetables oil a little bit. Vegetable oil. Exactly. Yeah. Then we have here chopped red onion. It's not white onion. Red, red onion. onion. Yeah. To give that a sweetness for our sauce also. We add some. Okay. We have chopped garlic. Chopped garlic. A little bit also. Okay. We stir it a little bit. I'm not going to give color for it. Mm -hmm. Just to make it a little bit softer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we got the, our chopped papaya. Chopped papaya, actually. Okay. All right, so guys, if you're wondering what papaya is, everybody knows it as papaya right here, and this is it. Yeah, we can call it also. Now we go for our seasoning. A little bit salt. Mm -hmm. Some crushed black pepper. Crushed black pepper, salt. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if you notice in the fried pan, the papaya starts to getting a little bit color. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what kind of papaya do you use? Do you use a very ripe one? Is it, yeah, should sure. it be very, very ripe? Yes, exactly. Okay. Because we need to take the rubber test of the papaya. Yeah, so, that, we will use the, the juice right. and all that. Yes, exactly. Okay. Then we add our fresh cream. Fresh cream. And in the end, we will get the nice color also for the sauce, okay? Mm -hmm. It will be a little bit thick. It will be between the sauce and something we call it ragu. Ragu. What? Okay. Mm -hmm. So it will not be too thick and it will not be too liquid. Yeah. Just we keep it for one minute more, okay? Then we bring here to the, our mixer to mix it. Now we are done. If you notice, I put in the beginning a little bit salt. Little I'm not salt. going to put all the seasoning right now. Because after we're going to bring it in the fire, then to adjust our seasoning. To okay. not be salty. Not, okay? okay. So now here we come with the mixer. Okay. We are done with this. Okay, he's in the mixer. And we start to mix. So you're going to turn it into a puree? Exactly. Completely, okay. Now it's done. Okay. Okay. You can see the color how it is. So let me just take it like this to let you to test. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Hmm. I'm about to taste it. Hmm. It's okay. I like it. So, we're fine. Yes, we're fine. Okay. So, everything is fine. Okay. So, now we check our chicken. Okay. It's okay. almost done. Okay. Now, we are going to go for our chicken. Okay. And we check it. And it's almost done. Okay. Fine. Now, we take it. The color of the clean film. Yes. We take it from the clinic film. Here it is, how it's look. Okay. Now we are going to present our plate. We come back for our own sauce. Okay. Okay, here's the papaya. Here's our own plate. This is the microgreen herbs. Okay. This is biscuit, a crispy one. We call it kilo dough. Okay. Kilo dough. Yes. It's a flour, water, and uh, vegetables oil. Mm -hmm. You heat the fried pan very hot and you drop a little bit so it's going to give you this shape. The shape. Flour, vegetable oil and then water. Yes. That's all. Okay. Now, we are going to rebate our plate. Okay. Fine, this is the sauce. Okay, now the chicken. Ah, oh, I can see the oregano in it. Here it is, you can see the fresh oregano. Yeah, the oregano it. and everything. In exactly. It. This is so okay. beautiful. Now we're going to prepare the plate. Piece by piece. Now, here's the plate. We are going for the decoration. Okay, you can see we have the the white, the green, and the papaya sauce. Mm -hmm. We some we need to add some green. This is a slice of apple. Uh, sorry, slice of cucumber. Okay, we're going to wrap it. I will show you, and even you can do it in the home. Mm -hmm. So it's not easy. That is too complicated. Okay. Let me try one. Yeah, let me show you first. You can wrap it round. Come, because it's too thin. You can make very nice presentation with it to add it in the plate, and you start to put one by one. So you can try it. <laughs> This one. Okay. 
to here. Yes, exactly. You can put it in the plate. Anywhere. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you can put it anywhere because when you make the presentation of your blade, don't be just to throw the things to look like natural. Oh, okay. Don't concentrate so much in the presentation, okay? All right. Now we're going for our own microgreen herbs just to throw it around. Okay. Then we come for our lovely crispy dough. We can put one here and another one here so the blade is ready it's time to taste the food but before that let's go on a quick break and when we come back Whatever you want. So all. All right. Ready. I'll start with the chicken first of all. Yes. All right. So we made this chicken together, and it's a rat poached chicken. Mm. Spices, the oregano, everything that was locked into that cling film is right on this chicken. It's really delicious. You try this out. It's beautiful. Let me try the sauce, the pop sauce. You know I love purple. Delicious. I tasted it before, so I really still love it. Okay. Let me take one more of the chicken and then I can go. So can I move this there and... Yeah, sure. Let me help you. Okay. Okay, this one is okay. Now he's... It's red red. But red after red. we prepare the red red, we put it in the fresh coconut. Mm -hmm. So you can take the red red and a little bit, some bites from the fresh coconut itself also. Oh. So you'll have different flavor. Mm -hmm. So let's try the red red. Take your time. Okay. There's no red bread without plantain. Yeah, sure, the plantain. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it because it tastes like home food, home cooked food, and it's, I don't know, it's beautiful. Mm, thank you, thank you. I, I love the Pedro Asi red bread. It's nice. <laughs> All right, so let's taste the soup. It's time to taste the soup. Mmm, this is like a lot of meat. Goat meat to be precise because it's light soup, goat meat, and some fufu. The Pedrasi Valley Resort way. Guys, the meat is so tender that it could almost melt in your mouth and I mean 
Who wants to suffer while eating? Why should meat be so hard? This meat in this soup is just super tender and I love it. And the soup, man, the spices on it are just on point. I love it. And I hope you guys come and taste the same thing right here at the Pedwasi Valley Resort. But before we go, before we end the show and before I dig into the food and eat like the one you don't see when I eat, Chef Amjad, tell our viewers something about this place. You know this this Bidwasi Valley Resort we are, are still young and we open since one year and a half but we try to put the Ghanaian cuisine in the right direction to present it as a fine dining food. We using health ingredients, we even we have our garden sometimes all the vegetables we are produced here it's organic vegetables. So we need only your recommendation also mm -hmm. and uh, we are open our kit to invite all the guests and to welcome and to maintain high standard of hospitality in Bidwasi mm -hmm. Valley Resort. Alright guys, so you heard it all from Chef Amjad and remember you can pass through Pedwasi Valley Resort to taste this wonderfully cooked meals and especially remember that they are not just ordinary food but they are, they are organic and well prepared. But guys, let me just dig into my dessert, you know. Remember to follow us on all of our social media pages. Meet the chef underscore GH. My name is Chris Carter. Catch you same time next week. Bye. <laughs>